Eric Moore with Mother.com. Now, the last two videos we've talked about for solar FSLR, and we can see here a nice move if you take the lows and the current highs. That's a nice move. And this is a two year weekly chart. We can take a look at Dillard's D, D, S, and we can see also off the lows to the current highs. We've seen a nice move. So now the question becomes what next? Now, because we are coming towards the end of the month, today being July 28th, 2017, we need to take a look at the monthly charts for an idea of what is going on on the monthly charts. And here we have the monthly data for DDS going back to 1990. I'm going to draw one line connecting the highs of 91 and to show you that stocks have a great memory, we are going to extend that line all the way to the current market should look something like that now we broke out here which was the entry in 2010 we end up finding support on that line of those lows support here of those lows support here of these lows and then we change and we break below that line which begins the major slide and you can see what I'm getting at here is right now we are coming back to test that level right there so month to month this is a level to watch for potential resistance especially if it is confirmed that that is a resistance level then what was support between 2010 and let's call it about 2015 that was the support line now it might turn into a resistance line so if we see resistance on this line that's where you can expect some type of a problem for the stock in other words the stock would have to clear the current line or where it is trading it would need to move above this level if it is to see a continuation of the current move now if we take a look at all data for FSLR, you can draw a line connecting RSI highs. Should be something like that. And you can see that the stock could be aiming to come back and test that line. So even it might suggest there is a possibility of a continuation of the move to test that line. So that's one thing to consider as we come towards the end of the month here. And there's another view, slightly different take. And this view is based off the break right here. So you figure out where it broke down. So use that information. So this is the break of the highs of 2011. We know that because that's exactly where it broke down. And we have this massive plunge. Take that information, draw your straight line horizontal line anytime you are rejected when trying to move about this line that is a sell signal rejection here of those highs uniform action above the line back below it that is a sell signal and now we are coming back to test that line so month to month failure to hold above this line would suggest that around here you can start looking for a reason for a pullback or some stalling there's one other line and the line goes back to the lows of the RSI connecting the, the lows here we extend that line we can see we broke below this line here in beginning part of 2016 and now we are coming back to back test it so the question is are we going to be able to move above that line confirmation of resistance here might suggest that we are due for some type of a pullback now don't forget if we crack back below rsi 50 on the monthly time frame expect a big drop as you can see here this month we are moving above the 50 level and which might explain why the stock is up about 20 percent whenever you move above rsi 50 as we've already established you tend to have a reactional move lower of some expansion in size the last time we traded above or below the 50 level was here which is during this pullback over a period of about two to one month but the idea here is that 
we see a significant drop while we move below the RSI 50 as the stock adjusts its sentiment and turns a little bit more to the bearish side. So be on the lookout for resistance and also be on the lookout for potential for a movement back below 50 which might suggest taking back most of these gains. Eric Mwadha, the mother .com. As always, good luck, peace and blessings. I am out. Yeah.